Hello friends, uh, today we will see the cost implementation of .NET Core Web API with Angular project. To begin with, first we will create .NET Core Web API application using Visual Studio. We will click on the create new project. Now we will select the template as ASP.NET Core Web API and click on next. Now we will set the project location and give project name and click on next we will now select the target framework we will set it as dotnet core 5 and click on create button we will now create new controller for that we will right click on the controllers folder and the project we will click on add new item and select api controller empty to add new empty API controller. We will give it a name as user controller and click on add. We will now add a new method called get to get the list of users. We will now add ASP.NET Core's NuGet package. We will now move to the startup.cs class and add the add cores code in the configure services method. We will add app.use cores in configure method. Remember the name of cores policy name should be same in the configure services method and in the configure method. We will now open the user controller class and add the enable cores attribute above the user controller class. The name of the cores policy should be same as we mentioned in the startup.cs class. We will now run the API project. We can see the output in the API uses get method. Now we will create the Angular project. For that we will open the command prompt and we will route to the directory where we want to create our Angular application. Now we will run ng new command space name of the angular project and then press enter. We will select the routing as yes and select CLSS as a style sheet default and now it will create angular project. We will now open it in visual studio code using command code space dot. It will now open the project in visual studio code editor. We will now create a new service using command ng space g space s space services slash user. It will create the user service class in the services folder. We will now create a user model class in models folder using command ng space g space cl space models slash user. We will now add two properties in the user model class. One is name and other is age. We will specify the same name as we have mentioned in our API class so that it will match the API result with the model's result. We will now add get user service method to get the data from .NET Core Web API in the services in the user service class. We will be defining HTTP client module in the user services class and we will use that HTTP client module to get the data from the API which is running on URL HTTPS localhost 44393 slash API slash user URL. We will now get the data from get user service method in the app.component.ts file in ng on init method. We will use the user list property of app.component.ts class in app.component.html class and show the name and age in div. 
we will now add http client module in app.module.ts file we will now run the angular project using ngserve space hyphen o command which will build and run the application in your default browser the angular application is now retrieving the data successfully from dotnet core web api so this is how the integration between dotnet core web api and angular is happening now we do not get any course related errors because we have already added the course in the dotnet core web api now we will comment out the dotnet core web api code which implements the course implementation and we will check again in the angular application whether it is working fine or not without course implementation now we can say it is giving errors that means it is not working fine when we do not implement cores in the dotnet core web api now we will uncomment the changes again in the dotnet core web api and run the project and check the same changes in the angular project if it is getting the values from the api correctly or not now we can see the values are fetching properly from the dotnet core web api so this is how the course works in the dotnet core web api with angular application I hope you have understood the implementation. If you have liked the video, please press on the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.